Hi, this is Bill Canal for Author Magazine, and today we are talking with Eric Barnes, author of Shimmer. Welcome, Eric. Yeah, thanks for having me. Thank you very My much. My pleasure. So you were a journalist as part of right. the paying the bill. Yeah, yeah. I got a job as a reporter out of college because you know I was an English major and I could write, and that seemed like a good way to you know pay the bills. It was good uh, to be a reporter. Um, I hated being a reporter. I hated the interviewing. I the writing part was great. I was we could do that, you know, perfectly well. But going and talking to people and invading their lives was not my cup of tea. But was the goal always to be a fiction writer, yeah. if possible? Yeah. Yes. Were there many series we thought, oh, this is a um, it I, always I, on the It was always there, and I've always been writing. And I've published short stories throughout this time, which sort of were my little, you know, um, moments of... of um, faith, uh, renewal of faith, because I would get a short story published in a journal and feel like, all right, there's somebody out there and this is worthwhile doing, or I'd get some good feedback from an agent, or and I'd get close on a book. And so, no, I always, I mean, I had lots of fears that it wouldn't work out, in all honesty, but I always, I kept writing and I kept pursuing that that goal. So you, this is your fourth full manuscript that you've mm -hmm. written, that you first published. Right. Do you think that you published Shimmer? because you had finally evolved enough as yeah. the writer you need to be? Or do you think we've simply gotten to a place, and this is maybe more uh, Ouija board than some people are comfortable with, just yeah. because you were ready to be published? That maybe the other books could have been, but you weren't ready to be. Um, well, that's a good How question. I, I think a little of both. Uh, there's definitely a Ouija board component. I mean, there's just a timing thing that was right. Um, there was uh, my happening upon my agent who read a different manuscript that I think is is very good and, and publishable, but was just have, it was bad timing. It was an, kind of an ultra violent, completely humorless book, um, set in Tacoma. That just he took it and shopped it everywhere. But he just said, "Man, it's just it's kind of a dark read." Um, it's a, but what else do you have? And the fact that he had done that, and I'd gone through a number of agents, and the fact that he said, what else do you have, instead of sort of walking away from me, was the beginning of that good karma and that good Ouija board sort of moment. And he read Shimmer and said, you know, had some ideas, and we went back and forth a little bit, and he sold it real quickly. Um, so I think there was just a, a mix of happenstance and, and, and a person in Gary, the, my agent, who went through the business side of it and said, this good thing you wrote isn't publishable right now. Just, it isn't. But this other thing, is you know so um and certainly the time helps i mean i'm a better editor of myself i don't know if i'm a better writer but i'm certainly a better editor of myself after all these years of writing so mm -hmm.